worship, right? Come on, somebody praise the Lord, man. Come on, do it. After you hear the message, you're going to wish you did. Just do it. Just praise Him. Again. Forget about everything. Can you be with God right now and get the strength that you need? Get past whatever's on your heart. Come on. Right now, Spirit of the living God, fall fresh on us, Lord. Let there be a downpour of your presence, Lord God. All this singing, if you don't show up, does not become worship, Lord. Father, we want to worship you because you are worthy. Come on, somebody say, he is worthy. He is worthy. He is worthy.
Father, help us to begin today by understanding and being mature and knowing that every part of this service is the believers coming together and not for sin. And every part has a reason. So we're going to pray a little bit later, God, after we hear your word, we hear the message you have for us. And Father, we're going to receive the Lord's tithe and offering. Amen. Come on. Give always give the Lord. That's why we got to, but we get to. And uh, we're going to love God today. Amen. We're going to love God today. And if you hear the word today or yesterday and you and you want to bless somebody, ask, uh, ask our brother Mike Kissel up on the top of it. If, if we give you a DVD, bless somebody with it. Because I believe that the word uh, from here on in is, 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 is going to be a strength. It, it may sometimes hurt to hear it, but it will help to heal you. Amen. 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 It may hurt to hear it, but it will help to heal you. And, and, uh, and, and I thank you. What a privilege and honor it is. Hey, listen, I want you all to, to, to a, a remain standing. First of all, I, I just don't want to, to let you know if you weren't here last week that, that uh, Pastor Bev went for her second phase of her life. Thank you, Lord. Come on, ladies and gentlemen, come on. She is a fully licensed uh, reverend. She can marry and do all the other things. She was a, she was a licensed minister. Yeah. She can't marry herself. Somebody else, she's, she's not allowed. Jack, Jack won't allow it. Uh, nor, nor will the doctrine of the assemblies of, and a bunch of other stuff. But but she can uh, she can do some weddings now. It's going to be nice. And we're going to be doing some weddings and other things together and mentoring people. And we look forward. I look forward to the others that are coming from this group. And I love you so much. And I see the call of God on so many individual people here. And once you get all those butterflies to fly in the same direction, it's going to work, and it's going to be nerve-wracking. It's going to be some work. But hey, man, these great things don't come free. That call doesn't come free. You know, Jesus saved us, but that wasn't easy. That was a, that was a tough task, boy, to complete that one. And so, you know, sometimes, you know, really good things, things that are valuable, they don't come easy. My mom used to say, lo probamos luces. You know, something that's stolen doesn't shine. It won't shine very long. You know, it, was, it was that kind of a thing. And, and when you get something easy, you know, our membership is not cheap at this church. You know, the word is not cheap at this church. You know, I tell a few jokes, but I think I preach the word more than entertain. At least I hope. You know, I mean, and so uh, I want to thank you for being here today. Thank you for daylight savings. Time to go get that extra hour. Take a walk. Get healthy. Start to get that light on your body. Breathe in. Get ready for a revival. Amen. Gentlemen, I, 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 I usually use this for uh, Pastor Bev, but men, where are you? Raise your hands. Come on. Give me some noise. Men, I don't care if it's your first time here, your second time, or if I make you mad with my sermon and it's your last time. Thursday. October, October, I got a call from Wayne Pocus. I'm already worried about the trees. Uh, Thursday, the, eight, the 18th, this Thursday, the 18th, we have, we have uh, uh, volleyball in the gym. Some of the ladies, some of the ladies that got together because of Brother Juan last, last time he, he ducked out in the middle, so like he played like volleyball. Once I saw him serving and then he was gone, I'm thinking, this man is fast, man. He's, he's, like, he's like all over the place, you know. He wasn't here. He was out buying a bunch of pizzas. But, you know, and, and, and we all chipped in. We did good. We didn't let him take the weight alone. But, but he went out and got it. And so, you know, some of the sisters said, you know, this whole man thing. Well, we're going to do it alone. We're going to do it alone. You know, I don't mind a little help with that. So they said they're going to make sure we eat well. So invite a friend. Would you invite a friend? They don't got to be saved. They don't got to be born again. We don't care how they talk, how they look, or where they came from. We just care that you bring somebody. We're going to get men to get together and learn how to be friends. That's all. We're just going to learn how to be friends. Amen? 18, 7 o'clock downstairs in the gymnasium. If it's your first time here and you've never had a tour of this place, 
please come up to the front afterwards and let us know if we want to walk you through it and let you see all we have. This is, it looks like one little building. It's 165 years old and it's got so much. So thank you and uh, shake somebody's hand. You may be seated. Thank you very much. Someone told me, is it okay if I share that quote first? Someone told me that grandchildren are, are the reward. Are there any grandparents here? They say grandparents are, grand, grandchildren are the reward. How many of you believe that? Grandchildren are the reward. I'm not choking your kids. <laughs> that was it, it was it's just funny, it's just, Good to see Jesse and family. I've heard about your foot. I have a foot joke later. I'll tell you. Can you laugh a little bit? Or make you beat me up? <laughs> One or the other. <laughs> Go ahead, pastors. Thank you. Set their lungs today. They'll figure that out. They'll get here just as we're leaving it. <laughs> Dry cough. But uh, why don't you turn to the book of John? Book of John. Say John. John. Chapter 1. I just want to read a few verses in chapter 1. Last week I spoke about who God is. The omnipotence, omnipresence, and omniscience of God. Who God is without us. Who he is, even without you. We always try to factor ourselves into everything, but who is he without me? I weren't around. And uh, I had a good time, right? It was a good service, wasn't it? It got you to see God in a different light. And today, you know, this morning, Pastor Bev preached on the power of Jesus Christ. And today, last week after preaching, on God the Father, the first and the head of the Trinity, I want to speak on the person of Jesus. I want to speak about the person of Jesus. I want you to see a few things that are very clear in doctrine and in scripture that we sometimes don't really build on in our lives or don't really buy into or lightly buy into or superstitiously agree or religiously get into, but we really don't let it saturate our soul and get into our spirit and just say, man, i got to live my life believing that this is true, and that this is real, and that this is alive. Amen? 
Father, I thank you. I pray that you would open every heart, Lord God. We want to hear from you today, Jesus. Thank you for using somebody as simple as me. Thank you, Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. I think you have the NIV up there. Am I correct? John. It says, in the beginning was the word, and the word was with God, and the word was God. Take me down to about five, please. No, no. Yeah. He was with God in the beginning. Through him all things were made, and without him nothing was made that has been made. In him was life, and that life was the light of men. The light shines in the darkness, but the darkness has not understood it. Stop right there. Take me back to one. Verse one. In the beginning was the word, and the word was with God, and the word was God. The word there is not word as in small. It means logos or lagos in the Greek, which means God, not God. A verb or a word or just a word. It means logos. In the beginning was a logos and the word was a logos. And he was logos. He is logos. The word he is God. And so many people in religions today try to either discount or minimize or quiet down or don't say that so much. Don't, you know, let's just keep it religious and, you know, you know, and just, you know, entertain us a little bit, man. Tell us some funny jokes, you know, that are uplifting, you know what I mean? And, and we've committed in this place that we're people who come from some very dysfunctional backgrounds who really need to hear truth in our life, man. We need to hear truth. We don't need any more stories or fantasies, man. We got the Oscars and Hollywood doing that for us and all the movies coming out every week, you know. But we don't need that. What we need is some truth that can change our lives. So somebody say amen if you follow me. So, I think anybody here ever built something and built it, you know, just add, ah, you know, it wasn't a two inch screw, but it was one we found in the backyard and it wasn't the right trim, but if you paint it, it looks okay. It wasn't the right wood, but it'll work. It wasn't, anybody ever do that? And find that at the end, when you look at it, it's kind of crooked, kind of leaning, kind of bad, and it's got splinters and stuff in it. Right? Anybody ever do a, a bad job or something because you try to... Well, listen, that's just how your soul is and your spiritual life is. That's how the bank, the data bank of your spiritual life is. Whatever you put in there, however you've been building on God, whatever you've been understanding about the Lord, whatever you've been understanding of, Understanding about God the Father, God the Son, and God the Holy Spirit. These things are going to become a part of your foundation. And then many of us find out years later that we've got to go in there with a jackhammer and jackhammer and rock our whole world because, because there were some things that we thought we believed we sounded good. Somebody said it, we preached it, they, but it wasn't true. It wasn't right, you know? I mean, I was told, man, when you, when you serve God, it's going to be like a bowl of cherries, but nobody ever told me about all the pits I'd have, you know? And then I felt kind of robbed at that point, you know? They, they never told me all the bad, you know, that it's still going to rain on me. I'm still going to get flat tired. My car's still going to be hit. You know, you know, I mean, I'm still going to have some late pickups. Things are still going to happen to my children. Choices are still going to be made that are bad. So then what separates me is this love that I have for God, this change that I'm doing every day, that salvation is me saying yes to God, and sanctification is doing this thing every day. Not legally. I'm not talking about a bun and walking like this and... You know, I'm talking about just every day, just say, you know, don't lie, don't exaggerate, don't do this, don't do that, don't judge people, and just really trying to keep your kindness up. You following me? So today, I want to, and what you may think is a simple message, I want to give you some very powerful tools for you to listen to about the person of Jesus. Last week, I told you about the attributes of God, and this week, I want to tell you about the person of Jesus. Next week, I'll be telling you about the person of the Holy Spirit. You ready? I'm not going to make you do anything funny or say anything. I'm just going to tell you the truth. You make your decision. Amen? So the first thing I want you to see is, number one, is, is listen to me. We've got to get these verses straight 
or a whole <coughs> doctrine collapses. Your whole Christianity collapses. So you wonder why people get mad at God, get sad at God, and say, I don't believe, I'm not sure, and my foundation has been rocked because they don't have these things in place.